I is for Igloo, which is one of my random names that Uncle Mike has given me throughout the years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is for Harry to like, H for a road. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, man. A can be for a lot of different things, but it's going to be for actively involved in our lives and always being a great example to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. We out of letters. We out of letters. So, if I would
but, um, but, but um, it would kill me to say, but not open mic. He was built for this work. And not just that, he has put in the time, the dedication, and the willingness to grow for 43 years to give his, to give his best to his students and athletes. He has held art shows in Chicago. He used his experience playing sports and expertise in art to mold youth and become a football, softball, basketball coach. I don't know if you guys saw him off that coach today, but he could not stop coaching all of us. It got to the point where the other coach was like, what team are you coaching? He coached the refs, he was coaching me. He was like, why are you pulling me down there? I'm like, oh, you want to be coaching too? <laughs> so, um, on top of all of that, he has been a vegetarian for over 40 years, way before the Impossible Burger was even thought of. Right? But nothing is impossible for Uncle Mike. He has mastered the art of living. Now. Now when you teach, you touch the lives of a lot of young people. I can't even count how many people he's helped become over the span of four decades. But one life I know, he has influence in ways uncountable, and that's mine. Yay. So he's been at everything I've ever had, from graduation to conversations to help determine the course of my life uh, to my wedding. It was a very funny story. Um, so I'm not gonna read this, I'm just gonna say this part of my heart. So at, at my wedding, I told Uncle Mike, I said, um, I don't have any, my dad didn't come, you know, so I'm like, I don't have anybody to dance with me. And he says, says to me, yes you do. Aww. I said, okay, thank you, cool. And so I'm like, so I whisper in his ear and I said, she's good. I can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he whistles and says, I know. And so my dance, it comes around, it's time, it's show time. I didn't realize that he really believed that it was show <laughs> So, this man grabs me. I, I, he grabbed, I didn't know if it was a fight or <laughs> you know, So, he grabs me and he pretty much carried me. <laughs> carried me throughout the entire dance. And he put on a full-fledged show, y'all. I'm talking about he was cutting a rug. I was like, I was like, he hit the floor. <laughs> he carried me the entire time, and uh, it was awesome. So after the, afterwards, everyone with people were asking me, who is this guy? Who is this guy you dance with? Like, random people were just asking me who he was. And I don't want to ramble, so I'm going to read, because I ramble about the read. <laughs> Sorry about that. I told you I got an hour, though, right? I got an so here we go, let's wrap this up. Uncle Mike, you have been a constant, um, Uncle Mike, you have been a constant not only for me, but for the schools you've served, the students you've led over the years. You're a loving husband to an incredible, supportive wife. You carried the mantle of education for the past 43 years, just like you carried me. And I'm certain you will carry the same zeal for life, wherever and however you choose to spend the years to come. And I know you'll spend it in extraordinary ways because nothing about you is ordinary. You are anything but. Congratulations on your retirement, and we all wish you the best.